everyone, so today's video is going to be how to clean out a gerbil area or a gerbil cage and I'm going to show you how I clean out my gerbil area and what I do with the gerbils and things like that. So before I go on to the video I'll just um, point out, or you may have noticed already, that I have changed the levels around a bit. So the, the highest level, the green floor, has been lowered just so that I can put the wheel on that floor and also the bottle and a few chew toys. So and there's tea. So it just gives them a bit of a change and it gives them more space on the middle level as well because they've just got an area to kind of move around on there and things like that and I usually put their sand bath on that level too. So now onto the video I'm going to show you what I do um, when I clean, clean out the gerbilarium and how I clean out the gerbilarium so I really hope you enjoy the video today. So the first thing that I usually do is um, get down all of the gerbils um, supplies. So that will be things like a toy box, um, their box of chew toys and treats and um, usually their box of food as well. So just here I've got their toy box and their chew toy box um, and I've just got these out because I tend to change their toys around weekly and give them new chews. So I always usually get them out first and I've also got my dustpan and brush out ready. So next you need to make sure that you've got something to put your gerbils in while you're cleaning them out and it needs to definitely be something with a lid, um, like a small travel cage usually does the job because cleaning out a gerbil area only takes around 10 to 15 minutes. So I've just got this small travel cage that I use to keep them in while I clean them out and the reason you need a lid is because gerbils can climb and jump so you don't want them to escape um, while you're not with them and they must be supervised at all times unless it's got a lid. So a travel cage like this is perfect for leaving them in for um, no more than 15 minutes really but it works really well for when you're cleaning them out. So the first thing that I need to do now is take the cage apart, take the gerbils out and put them into their travel cage and also take all the little bits out of their cage ready to be cleaned. So now the gerbils are in their travel cage and are very happy digging away, it's time to start cleaning their cage. So first of all I've just emptied their bedding about halfway and I'm going to look through it to find all their favourite toys because with gerbils they do like to dig and tunnel which means that they also like to dig their favourite toys and tunnel them with them and they usually um, hide their most favourite toys in within their bedding so you don't want to end up throwing things away that are in there. Uh, tunnels and things, so I'm just going to search through it and get all their things out before I throw out the rest of the bedding. So I've just emptied out all that bedding and now it's time to disinfect the cage and I use this um, Keep It Clean Lemon um, Pet or Hutch disinfectant and because um, gerbils are quite small and the same with hamsters, mice, rats and so on um, even though it's pet safe disinfectant they've got very sensitive noses and it can be um, tough on them so what I tend to do is um, put a few squirts of this into the cage or the hutch but obviously in this, on this occasion the gerbilarium and then I rinse it out four to five times to make sure that there's no um, fumes from the pet safe disinfectant and so that all they can smell if they do smell anything is just hot water and obviously it's still cleaned out the cage quite thoroughly and this disinfectant uh, was just from Sainsbury's for a couple of pounds and I actually really like this I found it to be really really great at disinfecting and cleaning the cage out. So as you just saw I've just finished out um, rinsing out the tank part of the gerbilarium so like I said I just disinfect it a few times and then rinse it out four to five times to make sure there's no um, scent or strong fumes from the pet disinfectant um, and then all I do after that is just give the cage a good wipe and dry usually with this blue roll or kitchen towel because they tend to work really well to soak up the water and to dry it really really quickly So 
So now that the tank part of the dribble area is nice and clean, um, I've started adding the bedding. And if you want to see my full mix on this, you can go onto my making dribble bedding video that I did a couple of weeks ago. And that's more in depth about the bedding um, that I use and that I mix and things like that. So I'm just in the middle of adding it to ready to mix. So what I'm going to do now is finish adding all the bedding and then I'm going to take the tank back into the house and slot it all back together and clean up any small items that the gerbils may need um, cleaning. So as you can see, um, the tank is now back in the house. Um, the bedding's not quite finished. What I usually do now is I add all their chew toys, little houses and things like that. And then I've got the rest of the mixture with me right here. I just add the rest of the mixture on top of all, to the, all of that. So I'm just halfway through putting all their toys back in and as you can see they have a lot of chew toys um, on the base of the bedding and I've started filling some of the bedding up around the cube but I'm just going to add a few more toys and then I'm going to um, add the bedding and reattach the cage. So I've just finished putting all the bedding in and I've reattached the top of the lid um, and this is what kind of what the bedding looks like at the minute. They're just kind of moving everything around but as you can see this is why I can't do videos once the bedding is all in because you just can't see anything. You can kind of see little hidey houses um, hidden underneath. I add, need to add a bit more bedding to the other side but that's basically what it looks like when it's finished but they're just moving it all about. And the cage just reattaches by two clips at either end like that. Um, and as you can see, um, um, it's all reattached and everything, but I s the last few things that I need to do now is change their food, um, empty and wash their water bottle and give them fresh water. I'll also add a few more new chew toys on the top and um, I wash out their wheel every single week, um, but I give it a thorough wash every other week. So it has a rinse this week and then next week it'll have a thorough wash. So I've now finally finished cleaning out the cage um, and you're looking at this level because I've only really added uh, new toys to this level. They've got cobble tunnels and things like that in um, their tank area and all I've done on the top is given them fresh water and a clean food bowl and a clean wheel. So these are kind of their new chew toys that I've added today and like I said I like to rearrange and move their chew toys every um, week when I clean them out. So that's the end of the cleaning the gerbil area video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope um, it's helped maybe in some way. But it's more about what I kind of do and how I clean them out, what I use, things like that. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.